Hi, I'm Andromeda Stevens, Doctor of Chiropractic with the Scoliosis Coach here at Pilates Sports Center in Los Angeles. We're going to demonstrate today how to use a scoliometer to measure the rotations in a scoliosis. This is in no way a substitute for any x-rays, which will determine a cob angle of a lateral bend in the spine and a more accurate picture of the rotations. But it's a good way to monitor your client or get a nice baseline. You can also download this as an app on your phone, but you won't have the nice cutout to allow you to go along the spine without that tilt happening. So it's a little bit more difficult, but it's a nice um, economical way to have a scoliometer at your fingertips. So today we have our lovely model, as Samantha, who's going to be helping us demonstrate how this works. I have a seat here so that I can get a nice bird's eye view as we work. We're going to begin with her back to us. The feet are exactly hip distance apart or squeezing together completely. Make sure you do it the same way every time you do it, and you should also do your measurements at the same time of day since curves can be a little bit worse towards the end of the day due to fatigue. We're going to start at the top of the spine and work our way down incrementally. So we're going to begin by having her fold over very relaxed, head and arms hanging towards the floor, and let your head go, yep. And we're gonna have her go as far as to where her upper back, her thoracic spine, is parallel to the floor. We're going to begin with the scoliometer with our little cutout and the center of the spine at the top of the spine, base of the neck. I'm gonna get down on my stool so I can get an accurate visual and I'm not going to push down on it at all. We wanna get an accurate reading with it resting comfortably. We're gonna to start to notice any deviation in degrees going right to left. We might want to stop and mark these measurements down or perform the test again and mark them as we go. When we reach about the mid-back T7 bra line area, we're going to have her fold a little further until the lumbar spine is parallel to the floor and we're going to continue incrementally down her spine until we reach the hips. And then we might continue backwards or start over and take your measurements. You will notice the movements going and you'll notice maybe five to 10 degrees in any given area. About five degrees should alert you to start to be concerned or refer them out for evaluation. Go ahead and roll back up. And thank you very much for modeling today. And thank you very much for visiting the Scoliosis Coach. If you have any questions, you can email me and visit my website. PilatesSportsCenter.com or the scoliosiscoach.com. Thank you.